Goldfaven. What the hell? Oh, give me that. That's what I needed. Way beforehand. Way beforehand. Okay. I shouldn't be capable of buying the last prophecy here. We'll see. One out of ten. Divine Essence. Manifest Witchfire. Prophecy of Destruction. What does that mean? Do I get Witchfire? No, I get Witchfire. No, okay. You can get Witchfire. More Witchfire by putting that in here. Okay. Okay. Cool. Sure. Why not? Ah, uh, let me drop the tactic of all to get that and the boss down. Manifest witch fire. Hmm. Right, 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 cut. Prophecy of destruction was the last one. Grants are kind of tied to firearm damage. With the powerful okay, weakened arcana gnomes. If it's in the fourth or later row of arcana, the remaining arcana slots become disabled. Okay, I believe those four here are the last unlocks I got from putting points, divine essence, into that slot. Ah, oh, that critical hits, enhanced caution, deck to combat style. I don't even want to overthink my slots. That's too much mind juggling. But that's, I believe, are the four last ones you get about creating a Divine Essence Shrine. Also, God, I have so many things already at full level that I don't even know what to do with my life now. But I'm. I want to farm the game to death. Boss mm -hmm. fight time. What tactics, Moza? Well, let us start with some basic tips. First of all, make sure for the third stage in the tower that you keep yourself an ammo chest somewhere, if possible, in this part of the map that you can run towards. In the third stage, where you get teleported back. Yeah, to the fire. To find defeat the boss for the first time save as much ammo as possible mailing the first dudes here if you need the divine essence you should take your time here to parkour to get all the divine essence up here and here and this thing here you will need those negative buffs to get the divine essence for the prophecies downstairs which sucks because all those buffs are ugly and disgusting Ooh, and i would go for stamina and losing relics or fetishes or rings most of the times first i melee then i'll put a pruning stake down here when they spawn and everybody burns yeah. Also make sure you have something on the light spore side that's close range. Burning stake. And everybody burns with a burning stake. Especially right here. That's such a burning stake farm spot. Cool. Farm. Those spots, if you need the divine essence for the prophecies downstairs, ignore them. If you just need to fight the boss, you're just gonna waste their amount health, probably. Okay, silent demonic, that's never good. Oh, that's never good. Silent ring, yes. That's the second stage. It should be doable, you probably will lose some health. I don't need that. And down there you're gonna get teleported that's why you keep your ammo for the second time that you're gonna get teleported I'm just gonna spam that to everything and i could go in me immediately in already if you need divine essence you're gonna let the timer timer on the left corner get up by just wasting time here 
and then it gets up normally and we're gonna go in for divine essence runs which is dangerous those guys sniping you and doing damage but then you just run around you know get yourself the divine essence the thing that i'm gonna do here is get myself close to my healing elixir healing elixir to my ammo chest and i'm gonna stay right here getting myself the ammo the next round i'm gonna go in now i'm gonna get myself ammo that's bad they spawn right in front of me i'm gonna eat out of here i lost a lot of health in the second round because i've lost the ability to move backwards and somewhere up here would be maybe a healing potion still that I won't get to. But it's up here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Okay. From here on out, I can open this. Myself the debuff. Oh no. Damn it. I hate those debuffs. I'm gonna open up the door. And now I could cheese a lot of things here. For example, click that. Click ESC, ignore that, and you don't get a debuff, but you get the corrupted divine essence and the ammo. I'm gonna keep myself the two spots for ammo. So when I go down there, that I, you know, can still take some of those shrines here. So I have two spots open right here. Can get myself those shrouds and I won't take any debuffs. Cheesing it unless they fix it. Okay, let's fight the boss. I'm gonna get myself to the side because his second attack is difficult to dodge. This one he just did. And I'm just gonna take my time here. I won't even use too much of my spells. Just need to smile out for those waves. It's good to see what he offers you in those shrines. The best thing you can get is demonic rounds. I hate that I can't move backwards. I've got a good decay ability. I just need to wait actually. Things easier. But that's the attack we don't want. Happened. No. Okay. I'm just gonna waste my first ammo burning stick is perfect for this boss of fire abilities that's where you need your close quarters spell so they're gonna circle you the burning stick is gonna do some good damage here oh healing potion very nice very nice and I'm just gonna look around, heal yourself, gain one elixir. It's not too bad. I'm moving backwards, steep off is the worst thing right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Just laughing too. That's the Rod Weaver, that's the prophecy. So we got basic ammo. Yeah. Which ain't too good. That stupid mage. Just need to get him down into the next wave. I want to do this boss fighting with my weaker character, my level 20 character, because it's easier with the full level 90 character. Okay, next room. Burning stake, or oh, iron cross, and I'm just kind of down as quickly as possible. Killing everything around here. Good mistake for some of the damage. Don't see thing. See? Yeah, taking good care of him. The only thing I wouldn't do is get a debuff where you can double jump. Otherwise those waves are gonna get you. Make sure you look. 
Level up your burning stag and iron cross. The two things you need for this boss fight. Okay, that was be good. Ah, damn you. Losing the ability to move backwards. It's the worst thing. I'm gonna get myself this. And I'm uh, staying out. Jeezing it. Crazy. Not yet. Oh, I dropped the healing potion. It's disgusting. I can't use it. Oh, there's one. Okay. Now I'm gonna just demonic him. Duh. Be the board, sure. Destroying him. You find a shrine with wood jar, demonic round ammo. You're gonna use the second wave in here to wood jar him. Then you're gonna get yourself full wood jar ammo for the third round in here. And just wood jar him to death. So, in other words, where's the shrine? If this shrine is demonic rounds, demonic ammo. I'm during him in the second round in those purple thing, the castle, the yeah, map, and then for the third round I'm gonna get myself wood jammer and spamming him again. I don't know what that means. Oh yeah, I just got witch fire. I can farm witch fire like that. I don't know if that's worth it. It's after you have all the prophecies taken from the shrine. Let's just take a screenshot. Okay. Now, I'm gonna try to do this boss fight with the weaker level 20 character. I don't even know what got me.
Holy hell. Oh god. Oh god. Is my death spot not somewhere here? Nothing. Okay. Voila. That was way too difficult. The demonic ammo tactic paid off. Yay. That's the first one. Prophecy of uh, heaviness. Not to. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this boss fight. Blech.